Hello everyone, in this video I am going to show you how we can install and configure GCC compiler for Windows. The first thing that you need to do is you need to open Google and type in the query mingw. The first link will be to site mingw.org. Click on this link, open this site. Mingw is for minimalistic GNU for Windows. On this site you need to look for a link to download installer there is a link in the right once you have downloaded the installer you can run it just make a note of the installation directory you would also get this option to select what all compilers you want to install typically you would like to install both C and C++ compiler so click on install the installation will complete once the installation of mingw is finished open the directory where you have installed mingw for me it is installed in c mingw go to bin folder in the installation directory then copy this path copy this directory path now go to start menu in your computer and click on properties of computer go to advanced system settings and now click on environment variables under system variables look for a variable named path double click on this and this prompt would open this dialog would open in variable value go to the end of the string press end key on your keyboard put a semicolon and paste the path of the bin directory which is c min gw slash bin for me. Now click on OK and close all of this. Press Windows plus R key to open this dialog. Type in cmd. Command prompt will open for you. Type in gcc. If you get something like gcc command is not recognized then gcc is not correctly configured. If you are getting something like gcc error no input files then gcc is configured for you. Type in gcc minus minus version and you should be able to get something like this. It would tell you the version of gcc and uh, if you would have chosen to install C++ compiler also while installing mingw then G++ is the C++ compiler and that will also be installed for you. Type in G++ space minus minus version and you should get something like this. So this is how you install and configure GCC or G++ on a Windows machine. Thanks for watching.